Hi, so I want to show you how, how you can uh, measure and see the waveform of the mains AC power. So first we need to power this. I'm using this. Okay, so I have a uh, bot one, but this one is very flimsy. So it's, I don't, I, I don't really like it. So I've just uh, made myself one. This is basically from a used 9 volt battery, this part, the solid one, that I just soldered this connector. Here and I put a bit of hot glue for isolation. And it's very hard. So when you... It clicks and it's very firm. Anyway, let's connect it. One advantage of this oscilloscope is that it's isolated from the main, so it's power it's powered by battery. Otherwise, you need to be careful with connecting the the ground because if you connect it to the face, it will short. Okay, so let's let's start. I'm gonna use this wire. So first I will connect it. It doesn't really mean on... Normally the brown one is the phase one. It depends on how you plug it so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so... A few things you need to take care. This oscilloscope can handle, as you see, this is a manual, and it says here, allowed maximum input voltage is 50 volts peak, but 100 peak to peak. So AC voltage is 220 RMS, and the peak, this one, it's 310, and peak to peak is 6. 120 so it's way too much to blow this so we are gonna use this it's a 10x probe let me see if I can focus okay so 1x let's move it to 10x so this is basically a voltage divider so it will take a tenth of the voltage so instead of uh, reading 310, we're going to read 31 and peak to peak. So we're going to have 31 volts here and 61 here. So it now it becomes inside the limb. There will, there will still be up, but there will still be a problem. So now we need to adjust the sensitivity. So we put it to 1 volt and x5 so it's 5 volts now we have 5 volts per division and this one has 4 and another 4 it's 8 multiplied by 5 it's 40 volts so it can only, only display 40 volts but we will have 60 62 peak to peak so the waveform will not fit but we'll be able to see a few things okay so everything is set Make sure these wires do not touch and then I can plug this one into the socket. Okay, we're getting something here. So, as you can see the frequency is 50 Hertz, it's getting that right. Voltage. Okay, RMS it's 219 to 220, yes, that's what it's supposed to be. And we have the peak. Okay, let's make it a bit... Uh, okay, so this is the waveform. This should be the middle. So as, you, as I already told you, it's not gonna fit in here. Because it's gonna be, you see, the peak is 300, 
290-300 it should be 310 on both sides but it's a bit lower on the max probably the there's different appliances plugged that distort the waveform a bit so it should be 310 on the top 310 on the bottom RMS 220 that's fine let's show you with this so it's a true RMS anyway for the normal uh, sine wave it any all multimeters work only on the distorted uh, sine waves you need the true RMS so we have it on 600 I'm gonna measure this so it's 221 okay and this one shows come on 290 I think this one is more precise than this one but it's pretty close okay so this is the best you can do with this oscilloscope in this configuration but if you want to see the whole waveform we're gonna first disconnect this so first first thing first unplug the wire no, sorry okay so this is unplugged now it's safe to disconnect this okay I'll take put this away so recently I, I dismantled and because I bought a new radio digital one and I opened to see what parts can I get from the old one and I found this transformer this is an AC transformer that outputs 18 volts between this and 9 between the center so we're gonna use this Uh, now we can move the probe to 1x because this one will fit okay now I'm gonna plug this okay so let's see what do we have now select this one so move it a bit up okay now the whole waveform fits So the frequency is still the same, 50 Hz. RMS it's uh, 8.86, I told you it should be 9. Vmax and Vmin, yeah, they're fine. Basically to get Vmax you multiply the RMS value, like 220 or this one with square root of 2 that's 1.41 and you should get uh, this one the max the max point here basically this middle one is the well, it is not quite the middle here okay something like this is now the middle so we have one two and a half that's 12 and one two and a half 12 here okay so this one is the neutral line or the center tab and the, the line is this one that goes below and up below and up that's why we get these peaks here and here so as you can see here also the peak is a bit lower just like on the normal 220 because it's exactly the same waveform it's just lower down by the transform so this is the socket waveform in my case it's a bit distorted but this is how it looks so this is how you can visualize the mains power okay hope okay let me show you also before I end uh, let's measure put it on 60 
and measure between these ones. Not getting so easy contact here. I think you saw it first time. It was nine nine volts RMS, just like this one. See. Yeah, this one's a bit lower, just like when the mains. Okay, hope this helps. Like and subscribe if you like it. Yeah?